Hair Tiger. Welcome again to yet another fun-filled math lesson. We're going to learn about the volume of solids today. Wow! Sounds really interesting. It is. So let's begin, shall we? Volume of an irregular solid. Introduction. Space taken up by an object is called its volume. Now let's see how we can find the volume of an irregularly shaped solid. To find the volume of an irregularly shaped solid, we put the solid completely under water and measure the water that is displaced. Let's measure the volume of this stone. We take a container full of water and carefully drop the stone into the water. Water spills out because the stone occupies some place in the water. We collect this displaced water and measure it. Here it is 200 milliliters, which is the same as 200 cubic centimeters. So the volume of this stone is 200 cubic centimeters. A rectangular tank of length 20 cm and width 10 cm is filled with water to a depth of 5 cm. When a stone was placed in it, the water level rose to 7 cm. What is the volume of the stone? Length of the tank equals 20 cm. Width of the tank equals 10 cm. Initial height of water level equals 5 cm. We need to find the volume of the stone. Initial volume equals length times width times initial height of water level. 20 cm times 10 cm times 5 cm equals 1000 cubic centimeters. Final height of water level equals 7 cm. Final volume equals length times width times final height of water level. 20 cm times 10 cm times 7 cm equals 1400 cubic centimeters. Volume of the stone equals final volume minus initial volume. 1400 minus 1000 equals 400 cubic centimeters. So the volume of the stone is 400 cubic centimeters. So buddy, what can you tell me about the volume of a solid now? Space taken up by an object is called its volume and the volume of an object equals the final volume minus the initial volume. Absolutely right. 